Today I want to talk to you about Peter Popoff. I believe he's a fake and a fraud, and he's only out to scam you out of your money. I received my personalized letter from Peter Popoff. Peter Popoff is laid awake late at night with me on his mind and I was compelled to send a letter. And here it is. I've received my letter from Peter Popoff too. And it looks just like yours and yours and yours. Shining through your darkest situations. This is your prophet, Peter Popoff, saying goodbye and God bless you. These are some of the letters I get from Peter Popoff. Come in plain envelopes sometimes. Sometimes I have some text on them. I actually use a different name when receiving these letters. I use the name Bill. It seems that these letters are not specific to me, even though they appear to be. They do hold my name, or in this case, Bill's name. Bill, no cash, as in Bill, no cash. I added the K just to make it look like it's a real name. It's always talking about how he's had me on his mind. How there's a troubling in his soul or he was unable to sleep. Um, always telling me that there's a windfall coming my way. Some sort of blessings coming my way. Um, there, in some of these letters, I have to do certain things to receive these blessings. Um, in every letter, he asks for money. And they, they, have, they always have this kind of stuff in it. Um, what appears to be handwritten notes, but it's really not. They also have all these funny numbers down in the bottom corner as well. Um, I'm guessing those are some sort of identification numbers so that they know which letters to send out. Um, and you always get a little something extra in these envelopes. A return envelope that says that um, if uh, I'm able to put a stamp on, that really helps them out. Of course, this one had some other stuff in it. it says, uh, please do not open this envelope till you do some certain things first. In this particular case, I've gotten some trinkets, a small little sticker of some sort, and what he's calling a miracle spring water. Which, um, yeah, looks like it's evaporated by now. But when I first got this, it did have a little something in there. But not anymore. I'm not sure how that is going to help me. See, it's the Miracle Spring Water. And of course, just like every other letter, he does finally ask for money. In this case, it is $19. And every letter is like this. Here's another one. And, and, and I wrote down the dates that I received these letters to. Um, this is uh, on the 26th of December, the 30th of December, he felt the need to send me another one. As you can tell, he immediately starts asking for money. 
and the things that I need prayer for. And then, um, I don't know, maybe he's uh, got some sort of um, special connection with something, I don't know. But um, he's hooking up the supernatural power of debt cancellation. So, um, unless he's going to pay off some bills, um, yeah. And he always looks like he's a happy guy, of course, if you were bringing in the kind of money that he is bringing in, you'd always have a smile on your face as well. Let's see what else we got here. Yes, see, the letter stating that, you know, great things will come my way. Um, debt cancellation is going to happen. Um, yeah, I mean, other than, um, um, some student loans. I mean, I do have some debt, but it's normal debt that people usually have. Um, I have some student loans. I got a truck payment and a house payment. So it's um, not overwhelming. It's not anything that I can't handle. I haven't even opened this envelope yet. This is special because you get to see it right now as I am opening it. Kind of heavy. Oh, I shouldn't have opened this. It may stop my blessing. Oh, it seems to be um, a little rubbery thing. A little, I don't know what it is, but it's rubbery and and this plastic. I don't know. A little stretchy, but whatever that is. I'm not sure how that will stop my blessing. And he did ask for money. Asks for money in that one, too. Every letter he asks for money. This one confused me. I got this little silvery stuff here. Of course, you always get um, an envelope that says if uh, they'll pay the postage, but if you would like to put a stamp on it, you know, that will help them out. So, not only does he want you to give him money each and every time he sends you a letter, but he wants you to pay for the postage returned to him. And it's usually always the same thing. You know, talking about your blessings and how you will get them or not get them if you don't send him some money. I mean, people are getting these letters all the time. And they are going to be the same kind of letters and in many cases the exact same letter but with their name instead of my name which is going to be the difference this one he's asking for nineteen dollars first piece of paper I pull out again a self you know pay the postage or you know if you want put a stamp on it there we go opening this what's this this has oh well look at that It's some more water. A lot of water this time. And of course, another dot.
and ask him for more money. Never does a letter get received that he doesn't ask for money. And um, these letters will be, like I said, pretty much the same. With the exception of the recipient's name. So if you're wondering if this guy is legitimate or not, I would definitely have to say absolutely not. Because I have looked online and I have found some of these same letters online. There are stories of people receiving their mail and opening up an envelope from Peter Popoff and reading it only to discover that um, it's not the letter they were expecting. It belonged to their neighbor. So when they opened up their envelope, they discovered it was the exact same letter but with their name on it. And that's exactly what these are. These are generic letters. Printed out in bulk. Mailed out in bulk. Again, identification numbers down in the corner. This is probably some sort of tracking so that they know who got what letter when. What else do I got in here? I, oh, I got... Oh, here it is. Uh, he's asking for 20 or 40, or he leaves a blank for other, in case you feel the need to give more. And, of course, that envelope once again. Sometimes I love opening these things up because of the trinkets that he gives. There's the envelope. Send it back. This is primarily for the money that you're sending him back and nothing else. The reason why that he wants you to do certain things, place a dot on stuff, um, pour some holy water oils on something and send it back, is to uh, just to give you the sense that you are, you are obeying God's word. And, um, in fact, all you're doing is sending th things back to him. And if you're going to send it back to him, chances are you're also going to send him some money. That wasn't even supposed to be in there. I got mixed in. <sighs> this one's, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to, you know, there's, um, he's, he's, uh, got a message here for me. About burning hot, you know. Even gives dates on when to do things, you know, by February 10th. God wants to transfer wealth to me. Oh yes. Transfer wealth to me. And on the back side of that, he wants to transfer wealth to him. See? To transfer wealth. God wants to transfer wealth to you. On the back... You can give him at least nineteen dollars. Who's getting wealth transferred to who? Ah, uh, yes. Here's some more oils. I guess maybe that's what that is. It's oils. It could be I don't know what. I've not. 
open this. I'm not going to because I'm not really sure exactly what it is. to have a life-changing event happen here and the, and the messages in these letters are so vague that it's it's like it's like fortune cookies they can apply to anybody I mean I do like the fact that he changes up the color on the return envelopes um, blue green purple I mean, people are giving him a whole lot of money, so he should be able to use different colors. It looks like this is um, some explanation of the oil. Did I open this to read my letter? Okay. What would happen if I opened it before? This is this is just bold here. He wants a total of 145.55 out of this one. You could send him 2911, but you won't get your full blessing. You'll only get it if you send him 145.55. I'm not going through each letter and, and actually reading them because if you're watching these videos and you've received some of these letters, you are going to recognize these letters just as they are right there. I seem to have dropped. Oh, some green stuff. I don't know. Maybe um, food coloring, most likely. Water and food coloring. It's a special envelope. Um, special because it's green. Gets this uh, nice little cloth fake $100 bill. That's kind of neat. Wants me to put some information on it. And um, I need a blank amount. Once again, an envelope to send it all back. And he would like um, $33 off this one. And um, I'll check the ones that apply. I mean, if you're filling this one out and saying that you need X amount of money, how are you going to fill this one out and give him money? So, he is completely fake. Each and every letter, he asks for money. Each and every letter is a carbon copy of a letter before that has been sent out to somebody else and most likely these people have believed that they are to them and no one else and I've, I've read things online and I've watched his TV shows and even his TV shows I believe are fake I believe that there are people in the audience that are plants meaning that they are there just to act as if they've been healed um, there are some things that it, it he does not do it does not work uh, I'm not saying that God can't heal I'm saying that this guy right here is not being used by God to heal he is being used by his own self greed 
to become filthy rich. Remember, this is the same guy who went bankrupt because he was caught with an earpiece and his wife telling him that this person in this row sitting in that seat says on their prayer card that they have this ailment. And he goes up to that person as if he is being spoken to at the moment by God, calls them out by name, and says their ailment, and tells them to throw their medicines away, and and walk, and throw the canes away, and jump around, and yeah, I'm quite certain there are people that have gone away from those um, shows, is the best way to describe them, in much more pain than they arrived, because of what he has done. He is fake, he is a crook, he is a fraud. If you get these letters from him, um, I would suggest not to give him any money. If you want to go ahead and fill out the little forms, if you want to go ahead and sprinkle the water and oils on and stuff and things like that, go ahead and do it. But I would not suggest giving him money because this here... All of this here is nothing but a scam to receive money. Now, within all of these letters, there is a grand total of 379 dollars and 55 cents that he has asked for just in just a little under uh, three months, about two and a half months of receiving letters from him. So. Nearly $400 he has asked for. So it, the only one that's profiting out of any of this, the only one that's being blessed out of any of this, the only one that's becoming debt-free out of any of this, is this man right here, Peter Popoff. Thank you. Have a good day.